everybody russ and the west ham network hope you're all safe well happy easter monday happy easter monday um hope you've eaten your body weight in chocolate and hot cross buns uh, for those of us in the uk um i've managed to do that which is quite impressive which is quite impressive um no, i haven't really to be honest you know in all honesty um damn squib yesterday wasn't it absolutely damp squid yesterday so uh not great but hey ho hey ho these things happen um and it's still sort of it's still yes we've had a fantastic week haven't we it's a bit what, what a time to be a west ham fan so we will see what happens um obviously we've got a week haven't we, we haven't got a midweek game for ages we've got chelsea at the weekend so you know if you're new Andy, give it a like give it a comment give it a share give it a subscribe and i've been to the 18th of april's edition of hammers headlines where we take news from around the world affecting the hammers and presents you the highlights uh, the headlines in association with kumb.com three stories as always the first one involves um someone we may well see back before the end of the season in terms of angelo Ugbonna. i almost said victor abina how weird's that angelo Ugbonna. um the athletic report that west ham are set to trigger the one-year uh, extension option to um angelo Ugbonna's contract uh, with talks over a longer deal uh, expected this week and that's according to the athletic um obviously oggy hasn't appeared since that for the hammer since november um where he was first choice with zuma um up until then uh, I think it was the Liverpool game, wasn't it? He got injured. Um, and and the reports are that he's obviously on the grass, as as, as uh, Moyes tends to refer to people coming back from injury, um, with a potential that he could well make an appearance by the end of the season. Europa League final, maybe. Um, but anyway, he's set to be re rewarded for that fine form early this season with the club to trigger the one-year extension to his contract, which would run out at the end of the season. According to Roshane Thomas, the club will then enter preliminary talks with the Italian representatives about extending that for more than a season. Um, so as I said, he's returned to light training at the moment, hopeful of getting back on the pitch by the end of the season. Um, there were reports of maybe a move away in the summer, um, but Hammers are a, a very adamant they want to keep the 34 year old um for his experience uh he's an exceptional defender um and I, personally i don't see him being first choice when he comes back um particularly in the summer you know we've there's lots of reports for with with people were interested in ginter and uh botman and, and lots of center backs so but i think he'll be an, a useful squad member particularly as we've seen this season we need at least four center backs um with obviously you know with injuries and whatnot and that's not including the under 23s coming through speaking of the under 23s and young people um west ham eyeing a surprise uh plotting a a surprise move for man united's youngster deshaun bernard who's currently on loan at hull city uh obviously we're pretty much at the back of the sort of the backbones is that right backbones uh, but anyway so we've, we've so many injuries obviously at the moment we've only got dawson and diop as our regular center back partners and um so we'll be looking to to bring in people obviously we've spoken about Ugbonna just now uh in terms of uh, moving his contract um in terms of uh extending it but apparently according to uh, the sunday mirror um man united youth center back deshaun bernard ha is uh, is in david moise's crosshairs um he's played senior football only once at united so had loan spells away from old trafford in the last two seasons he's currently playing at hull uh, West Ham reported to have been scouting the centre back regularly, although he can play right back as well. So Moisey loves a versatile player, as we know. And clearly, Moisey thinks um, there is Premier League potential in his 21 year old. Gary Neville, obviously, before Hull, he was on loan to uh, Salford City last season, was very, very complimentary and saw you know, a very aggressive 
but uh, sort of a little bit old school, but, you know, sort of a crossover between old school defending and the modern day defender. He's a bit of a unit as well. So we'll see. I mean, he could be a very important player um, in the future. And if we could get the opportunity to develop him in the Premier League, it would be fantastic. The only fly in the ointment is dealing with Man United, particularly at this time where they're looking at people like, um, you know, Declan Rice and people like that. And finally, and finally, finally, the last story is involving our, it's nice to say, it's our European semi-finalists, opponents in terms of Frankfurt. Um, now, Eintracht Frankfurt, obviously, we drew one all yesterday. They faltered yesterday. They went down 2-0 to Union Berlin. And in fact, one of the guys who scored, um, Tai Taiwu Amawini, Amawini, We've sort of spoken about recently about potentially joining West Ham. A bit of a unit, a bit of a Antonio 2.0. He scored the first goal. They scored. They were 2-0 down after 20 minutes. And uh, they're currently languishing in the 10th place in the Bundesliga, which you can't really look at that because obviously Leon. They were ninth or 10th as well, but uh, they're languishing. So we'll see what happens, uh, see what happens when they play next week as well. But uh, yeah, so it's not all that bad. And it's a short and sweet one, just like me today. Um, as I said, if you're new around here, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share, give it a bloody good subscribe. Lots of cool stuff coming up this week. Um, some nice Mark Noble uh, tribute sort of show we're doing. Um, we're also going to be talking, uh, well, actually also, we've got, we've got a Julian, from the archives, a Julian Dix interview from 2006. Um, when he was in Spain training to be a professional golfer. Martin Godleyman sat down for about an hour and a half interview. And we'll probably release that this week. So um, keep an eye out on that. So take care, everyone. Stay safe. Um, stay lucky, stay cheeky. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care, my friends. Ciao, ciao for now. <laughs>